Hello to all the Freedom fans out there. This video is a special thank you to everyone that was a part of Freedom 6. It was another historic and successful event. I would like to start off by thanking two individuals. About a month ago when my dad passed away, it was hard for me to continue, but I had to, to, to because I had fighters that were depending on this show that told me this is their dream fight that they've been waiting for, and I couldn't turn my back on them. To, to make sure that they, they helped me, Joel and, from Sitan and Eric from Resilient stood with me and, and took over to make sure that Freedom 6 happens. So thank you to both of these gentlemen. I want to thank every Freedom fighter from the first fight to the last fight, all of you, because without you, it wouldn't have been an entertaining, successful event. I want to thank your trainers and your gyms that helped prepare you to be able to perform on such a great level. I want to congratulate all of you. I want to congratulate this, the Freedom Champions that we had that night, starting with the junior heavyweight, Quinn, all the way from east side of Virginia. He became the new USA Freedom Champion in the junior heavyweight division for the youth youth uh, division. Continuing with Harold Rera from Capital MMA, all the way from Washington, D.C., who became the super welterweight USA Freedom Champion. Continuing to Abu Khawaja, who became the super middleweight USA Freedom Champion, representing MK Muay Thai in New Jersey. Continuing to Cody Quarles, representing Maximus Muay Thai in Illinois, who became the cruiserweight USA Freedom Champion. These four freedom fighters are now freedom champions. They are the number one fighter in the country in their division. Continuing to the, the world title fights, we had a first ever Muay Thai eight-man world Grand Prix. First time in USA Muay Thai World Grand Prix. Fighters from outside of the country on a world Grand Prix. Every single fighter was a dangerous fighter. People thought they knew who was going to win, but as the tournament went on, everyone was surprised and shocked of who was winning. Not a single fight was didn't have people on the edge of their seat. Congratulations to all of you, and I'm proud of you. Congratulations to Dylan Juko, who successfully won all three fights in one night. He had a Rocky movie ending. He was done. But he knew, he knew he wasn't done. People thought he was done. If you saw what we saw, what the whole world saw, he, he dug deep, came back when he was down and, and, and dropped on the floor, came back and finished his opponent in the final round to become the 135 pound world freedom champion. Continuing to Taj Rueda, the two time USA freedom champion who fought the number one fighter in Mexico on the national IFMA team and successfully won a unanimous decision to become the welterweight world freedom champion. Continuing to the pro fights, and the pro fights now, Luis Morales, who had a rematch fight with Caleb Hunter, had another exciting fight with Caleb. And until they, he, he, uh, Luis was able to score a big head kick to stop his opponent, to knock out his opponent, to becoming the 100, 147 pound professional USA champion, becoming the official number one fighter in the country. Continuing to the American star, the legend, Black Dynamite, Cyrus Washington versus the number one fighter from Hungary. They fought also another exciting fight where Cyrus was able to score a knockout, finishing his opponent and becoming the light heavyweight world freedom champion. I am, I am very proud of every single fighter, fighter that performed that night, every champion that uh, successfully won that night. I would like to also send a special thank you to the sponsors who stood with freedom in making this happen. Without your support, it wouldn't have been so successful. Thank you to King of Falafel, and shawarma, the number one Middle Eastern spot to eat in New York for supporting this event. Thank you to Resilient for continuing to support the fighters and the event with the gear and everything else that you do. Thank you to Satra Oud, the number one media team, the eyes, 
they are known for many things and they are successful in many things without you uh, it wouldn't we wouldn't be shown as easily to the world thank you continuing to smt trends and trucking you support muay thai from day one thank you for supporting freedom continuing to aloft hotel giving the best the best rooms for the best fighters aloft hotel is known all over the world and it is a beautiful hotel thank you for giving us a beautiful continuing with studio 1108 Thank you for providing the best jerseys and the best shirts that everybody wanted. People were asking for even after they were sold out. I appreciate you giving us the best for the best. I'm honored to have every single sponsor, Freedom Fighter, Coast and Gym. It's because of you that we are so successful. We had pay-per-view, the biggest numbers, pay-per-view buys ever. People from all over the world purchasing the pay-per-view. I am so grateful and honored for this. When I saw the numbers of how many people uh, purchased the pay-per-view, I... I thank every one of you guys for making this happen. In less than a year, we, we are now already looked at the biggest Muay Thai promotion in the country. And it's because of you. Thank you for everyone that is supporting Freedom. We, they, we gave the first press conference in Freedom 6. The first press conference for our Muay Thai fighters. Freedom has done that to promote and, and showcase every single fighter. The kids just like the adults. The amateurs just like the pros to promote you to the world, to show you to the world, to show your success and your talent because you deserve this. We are not giving. You have earned and deserve this. And we will continue to do this and make this big, bigger and better because we are stronger than I. I am now going uh, to the Middle East after, after the event was done. Instead of celebrating this, I, I, I took a flight to the Middle East. I'm now in Dubai on my way to Jordan to lock down the first international event for Freedom. It's going, Freedom 7 will be September in New York. Freedom 8 is going to be in Jordan, on Aqaba Beach, right on the beach. And we are going to show this to the world. Freedom is here.